All right, guys, we are going to talk about building your professional Facebook page today. Um, it's a 10 minute video, so hold on with me, but it's very detailed and showing you what steps you need to take um, to get the basics for your uh, Facebook page. So you will see on my screen my normal login. I just logged into my Facebook and this is my newsfeed. On the left are all of the businesses that I have access to and that's your favorites. So you'll be using that later once you create your business page. So there's all Blue Waters things there. Um, you're going to actually go up to the, um, you see the lock at the top and the drop down arrow. Click the drop down arrow and we're creating a page. So go on and scroll down and click create page. This will take you to the create page page and all of the real estate agents are local businesses or places. Go ahead and click local business and choose your category. You all will be um, in the real estate category. I'm actually for um, demonstration purposes going to make my mom's bakery page for her business. Um, so you click real estate, but I'm going to scroll on back up and find um, the foods category. And you're going to want to put in your business, which would be um, your name. Um, so for example, uh, Lorna Riggs, Emerald Isle, real estate agent would be your name. Uh, make sure that you are um, specific in this as this is the way that people can find you. Um, I tried initially to just put in the bare minimum um, but that's not going to work as you will see in a second. So make sure you put in the street address and the zip code. I would go ahead and put in Blue Waters address. So if you're Atlantic Beach, then you have 610 Causeway or uh, 200 Mangrove for your Emerald, Emerald Isle agents with the zip code. Um, and then once you have that in, go ahead and click Get Started. It's going to take you to these one, two, three, four steps here. Um, so you're going to want to go ahead and choose your category. Um, like I said, I'm doing bakery things. So if I type in um, bakery, the options will come up for um, other suggestions for my category. And these are ways that people can find you. You do want to categorize yourself. So real estate agent, type in real estate just to start. And you have all of these options. Make sure you click, I think that the max is three, but make sure you put all of them in. Um, to go ahead and make it easier to find you when people are searching for real estate like items. So like I said, bakery, I'm doing desserts, cupcakes, cakeries, things like that. Um, but you want to go ahead in this description area, you want to use key terms that people can search, say they're Googling, that will help them find you. So things like a quick blurb about you, or where your location is, the areas that you serve. Um, so my mother is in Georgia, so Warner, Robin, Warner Robins, Georgia. Um, she makes cupcakes and cake shops. So if you're a real estate agent, you could put Emerald Isle, Atlantic Beach, Crystal Coast, ENC, but you want to spell it out. So Eastern North Carolina, make sure North Carolina is in there. And then go ahead and list places like um, Hubert, Newport, Atlantic Beach, Emerald Isle, um, New Bern, Jacksonville, Carteret County is even nice to put, Craven County, Onslow County. Um, these are key things that will help people find you. So a real estate agent in the Crystal Coast area um, serving Swansboro, Emerald Isle, and um, Atlantic Beach and beyond. Um, so you want to make sure you get as many keywords as you can in there. Um, and then you will have a spot where you can um, put in, you see I'm putting in more things um, just so that, so wedding cake is a really big thing um, for people to search for. Um, but you can put your website in here. You all who don't have website URLs, you're going to want to use your Blue Water profile page address, which you can take when you visit your profile page on the website or your search homes on the Crystal Coast website. Um, so you can do, we'll stick with Lorna, so lorna.searchhomes on the crystalcoast.com is what you would place in there. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and put in my mother's um, website address. Check it out if you get a chance. Um, I made that website for her 
um, something else that we can talk about later, building a website. Um, and you do want to choose a descriptive Facebook name. Um, I'm sticking with the Little Sweeties Cakery, um, and it just happens to be available. So this might be hard um, if there's things that aren't available for you. Um, like, say, there's another real estate agent that's named John Smith in Emerald Isle, and they already have a page. You might have to get creative and um, put real estate broker or real estate agent on the Crystal Coast Emerald Isle. You want to go ahead and click yes for these two options as well. We're going to skip through this part, but you can search through your computer and load a really nice photo of yourself. Liz has taken great photos of you, so if you need them, let me know, um, and we can arrange that. And then you're going to want to, if you remember in the beginning where I had all of the Blue Water businesses on the left side, that is your favorite section. You're going to want to go ahead and add your business to the favorite section. So go ahead and hit Add Favorites and then Next. Here is where you can click your audience that you want to reach. Um, they have this nifty feature that you can actually use a map. Um, there are more options as well. So you, if you want to get specific or less specific, you can go ahead. But I'm going to show you how to use the drop pin feature. Um, I had troubles here. You'll see I'm zooming into North America. I ended up way out in the Atlantic Ocean and could not find the United States. So bear with me for a second um, while I zoom out to find my bearings. Um, but go ahead and zoom in to our coastline and you're going to want to drop a pin. How you do that is clicking the drop pin in the area and then click it where you want it to be. Um, so we're right over to the right. Um, click that and you can maximize your radius. I would go all the way up to 50 miles. So that covers all of the area that you all will be servicing. Um, if you don't, dropped your pin in an incorrect position, you can delete it. Um, I would, um, as you can see down here, you can be more specific. Um, I would leave it alone. You don't want to box yourself into a corner. But if you did drop your pin in an area that you did not want it, you can click on it and the arrow beside it, you can delete it. You can even exclude areas if you'd like, but go ahead and delete it. Like I said, my mother's in Georgia, so I'm going to redrop a pin in the area that of my hometown. Um, so I'm going to have to zoom in to my itty bitty town of Warner Robins, which you saw I wrote in my description area. Um, drop pin there and I'm going to maximize and you can minimize your area um, to five miles but you want to go pretty broad so 50 miles covers all of the area that she would service um, save your options and it'll take you to your page yay we have a business page um, they'll also give you an option to uh, do a tour if you'd like and um, that we're gonna skip for now but you can use it later it can come in handy you can upload a photo to your cover page, which needs to be eye-catching. Um, I would use something that is uh, catered to the coastline. Um, right now, it's about to be 4th of July, so maybe you can pick a picture of um, the beach during 4th of July. Maybe some fireworks. Uh, so let's look through these. So we've got a collection of pictures and there's some fireworks. Let's see how that looks. Paste, put it in there. Once your photo loads, you actually have the opportunity to drag around where you would like um, it to show. I didn't really care for that picture very much, so I want to show you guys what a really great option would be because this is a learning session. Um, so, like I said, maybe use some water views. So I'm going to go into our little Liz folder. She has great pictures. Um, and view through here, you have all these options, views, and I would encourage you all to take pictures yourselves while you're out for your Facebook pages and um, for your cover photos if you would like. So go ahead and add a cover photo there. And while it's loading, I'll talk to you about this area here. This is where all of your um, information will come in of people who have reached you. And be sure to click save on your photo. But people that you can reach, um, all of your insights, how many people have clicked things that you've posted will come here. And this is where all of your posts will go as well. 
Um, and I encourage you all to make photo albums that include homes. Um, so each album would be the name of a home and you can promote it on your posts. And we'll talk about that later. Um, add a photo of yourself. If you need a good picture of yourself, you can take it off of the website by right clicking and saving, or you can contact us and we'll make sure that we give you one of those great headshots that Liz took of you. Uh, make sure it's a really good picture though, guys, no selfies. Um, also, you will have the opportunity to um, see all these insights once you have 100 likes. So you might want to reach out to family and friends or past clients and um, you can get your likes up so that you can get those really great insights there. Um, so this is really quick. We'll be giving you more videos in the near future, um, but I just wanted to show you what the um, loading a cover photo can look like in the impact and choosing a photo that is nice and crisp and maybe shows your character a little bit. So there's my mom and us um, two Easter's ago. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me. I will be doing more videos that get into more details. This was just the basics, so I can talk to you later about it. Um, like what you should post, when you should post, um, how your insights work, how to promote your posts and your page and get more people to like your page. Um, so stay tuned for more, you guys. Thank you so much for listening. This was Jay in the marketing department, and I hope that was helpful, and I hope everyone has a business page um, ready to go by next social meeting that we have. All right, have a good one, guys. Bye-bye.